What's up, it's your boy Sources Bailey, aka King Hype, aka Gator. And we're back with a video this time. I'm gonna be planting apple seeds. So you see here, we got Granny Smith apples, and I don't know if those are gonna germinate because they already open. I got those from an apple, and then these are Royal Galaxy apples that my mom had. Uh, so we're gonna try to germinate those. So, the steps are you gotta get some paper towels, dampen the paper towels, wrap the seeds up in the paper towels, place it in a container, and then put it in the fridge for 90 days-ish. Uh, wait for them to germinate, wait for the, the roots to come out some, and then you transplant those um, into a pot or a ground or whatever, so. Right now it's uh, December 25th, and then 90 days from now will be what, March, whatever. And then we'll check each week to see each week to see the progress and see if it's actually working. See how many seeds we can germinate. All right, let's get to it. So first we'll just spray this towel to get it damp. You don't want it too wet because apparently that's how you get mold. But well, you want to damp so that it can get some water. So. so this one's already open. So I don't know. We'll place it in there anyway though. And then we'll cover it up. I want to try to make it so it's easy to open up. So, we'll do it this way. Hopefully that's not too damp. And Granny Smith apples are on the bottom. Now this is this for the Royal Gala apples. Three seeds. Put it in the fridge and we'll come back next week to check on the progress. Thank you. 
apple seeds. Today we're about to plant these apple seeds. So uh, back in December 24th, 25th, I germinated some apple seeds. Um, but you know about that because it's at the beginning of the video. But now we're about to finally plant them and put out put them outside because it's getting warm. So we got cups. I drilled little holes in the cups so that the water can drain. So you can see we got eight cups. We got three, four. Four really good sprouts, two decent ones, and then some seeds that haven't really opened up yet. So probably gonna end up uh, putting some of the seeds together in one cup. Uh, but the really good sprouted ones we're gonna put in their own cup. We got our Miracle Grow potting mix. Just gonna put that in these cups. Now to to be honest, I don't think I need to wait this long. What December? This is March, so like three months almost. Um, because after a couple weeks, and you'll see in the video slash pictures, that, like, these, these sprouts came through after a while, and then they've just been there, been the same, so, I could have probably tr planted these earlier than I did, so I'm gonna just do, like, a few at a time so you can see. Alright. So, give me a cup. I'll try to like pack it down, pack the, the, uh, what do you call this? Soil down. And, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. So I've been doing a little bit of my research in, in North Carolina. This is on 8. So the last frost day is supposed to be April 9th. So I don't think I have to worry about that with apple seeds. Because apple seeds need to be uh, stratified anyway. Which means they need those cold temperatures. So we just put this stem. Take a little bit out I guess so I can have some room. Put that stem down in there. And pack it in around. And I honestly think these little leaves right here, what do they call them? I forgot. But it's not like they got true leaves and then these, not fake leaves, but cotyledons. That's what it is. Cotyledons that. Uh, come up first so they need that and that provides with the provides the plant with the food before the true leaves come so I think they need to be out in the air so I'm gonna put them up like that and then hopefully that works so that's one And the reason I'm doing this is because I like apples, so. So I want to have an apple tree eventually, so. Why not start now, right? It's going to take a while, but invest it in the future. That's what we're doing. So. I just got to figure out how to get this up to the top because I want it up to the top so there's plenty of room for the roots to form and then once the roots grow through this 
they won't transplant them in like a pot or something, a bigger pot, but for now, these cups will do. So. And we're moving right along. Two down. So, uh, so those are the Royal Gala. I gotta remember that. I need to get a pen to write it, huh? So, what we'll do is we'll put these two Royal Gala seats together and we'll put probably these two probably can't see it these two and these two together uh, see if we have enough cups and then I also saw that I don't need to like feed it or fertilize these until after the cotyledons fall off those little leaves there because that's what is actually giving the root the the food it needs so once those fall off like i can take this little cap off because it's coming off already anyway but yeah once that falls off once the real leaves come on true leaves then that's when you can start fertilizing about every week or so and then watering oh no I lost it watering about every week or so also maybe twice a week depending on how moist the soil gets And they say you want to pack it down so there's even soil contact on all the roots. <sighs> Moving right along. So, now, since these seeds got to pack it down. Since see they don't have anything yet, I can I'm just gonna plant them at the top. Get a little more soil. And put like two divots. Well, one divot filled in the other divot. So like two divots there. One seed in each divot. And then whichever one comes up is the winner, that's the one that will survive. There you go. Alright. I got my plants or my seeds planted. Now I'm going to show you where I'm going to put them. Granny Smith. Royal Gala. Alright, so I got my plant set up on this old water cooler in the backyard here. And I chose this spot because this gets like the most of that peak sunlight. Um, so you can see it's still in the sun right now even though it's starting to go down. And like with the house, it gets the sun like 8, 9, so a lot of sunlight uh throughout the day and i'm gonna i'm gonna just to be safe because it still gets like super under the 30s um at night i'm gonna take the seeds in at night and then just bring them out in the morning so they can get all the sun and hopefully i don't think it'll be bad if i was to leave them out here um with the cold because they need to be cold anyway but just to be safe uh, it's my first time so 
don't want these seeds to go to waste, especially since I just planted all the seeds I have. So, yep, that's what we're gonna do, and I'll give y'all updates if anything happens, if and when, hopefully. Um, but yeah, see y'all in the next one. Peace.